All right, all right. So here we go. All right, I've been up since 8 in the damn morning. Um, just researching, looking at crap that just, you know, makes me want to cry pretty much. Nice. Um, but the, this pedophile stuff, I mean, it's, it's coming out. And the, it is so disturbing. I'm not joking. It is so disturbing and so bad that if they arrested everybody in freaking clinked them all up and it was broadcast what was going on and everybody involved you know how many people would need therapy how many people would grab their hearts and be like I worked for these people or I did what the I mean it's almost biblical I mean maybe it's a seventh seal who knows um, but this is what's been running our country and nobody wants to admit to it um, I try to do what I can I try to put out freaking stuff. I haven't put out too many lately. Well, I'm putting one out now. The stuff behind this pedophilia stuff is so disturbing. I've done a couple of John Bonet Ramsey videos, and uh, you know you can look at them. You can see who actually you know made the video. You know I, I'm just sharing stuff that people can do a lot better job than I can do. But me being able to find it and share it is you know a big deal of what I try to do for people. But the John Bonet Ramsey stuff, uh, I mean, that was so disturbing, and like, not even everything was in there. You know, the judge on her deathbed, she admitted what really happened that night. And I guess, you know, this is, that little girl had been getting raped her whole life, in her very short little young life. But you see how they dolled her up and made her, they made her look like an adult. They put so much dang makeup on her. But the biggest problem is that nobody even knows about that case is there were seven men that night raping her. And the they, she wasn't meant to die. They were punishing her because she was resisting. She didn't like it. She didn't like seven men on her. Huh. Imagine that. Imagine that. So, you know, there are just these disturbing things about these cases and these facts that, you know, nobody freaking even ends up knowing. So that, the, you know... Truthers out there, you come to find it. Yes, you do. And we find out so much truth that is so disturbing. And we don't, we're trying not to crack ourselves because we're like, whoa. And you got to realize the, that's the reason that we found out first. There, there is all there. Everything is a plan. The reason that we found out first and we, because they had to have the strong pillars that understood what was going on and try to slowly crack at all those other people and open them up so that when it finally came out they didn't grab their freaking chest and fall down to the ground they didn't start bawling well people should cry i man you know i broke my femur bone in three places and didn't cry this shit makes me fucking cry dang i cussed it's turning out to cuss. this stuff makes me cry this stuff is so disturbing and so horrible, and it is so hard when you see and you know what's going on, and it's so blatant, and it's in front of everybody's face, and you try to freaking show them, and they think that you're crazy. No matter how much proof that you show them, and even if, let's say they don't believe you, but they're just like, well, oh well, well, what can I do about it? It's like, I guess if you think like that, you can't do anything. I mean, I don't know. I'm yelling at my dang phone, and people seem to be listening, not to doing something, and the more people that freaking stand up, and like, look, I'm not going to deal with Hollywood, I'm not going to spend any money on that, I'm not going to do this, that, and another thing, there's hundreds of things you can do, I mean, and it's not the easiest thing to realize what you need to do and what you can do, but it's something that people need to think about, because the more of us that stand up and say no more, I mean, that's what I think Q is about. I think Q is about a slow, a slow freaking truth coming out. That's what I completely think that he's about. And without that, I think the whole world can't handle it. And seriously, you see these idiots that they have backing them. If these people knew who they were truly backing, I mean, people that go to the church of Satan, all sorts of stuff. And you know, the crazy thing is, I don't know how many people know this, but the flight that came back from Japan was John Legend and some other broad that I guess always uh, 
tweets and posts and calls him a pedophile. And then says, well, I only call him a pedophile so other people don't hit on him. Kind of weird. No more about that that I know. I'm just saying. I know about that, and that's weird. Look into it yourself. Okay, and then, you know, I forget the name of the case, but there was this case where all these kids talked about being molested and all this stuff, and it was at a daycare. Or whatever the heck. And the whole reason the case got thrown out because the kids said there was these tunnels that they went through. And they never found the tunnels. Well, it all ended up just being blah, 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 swept under the rug. Nothing happened because they must be lying. There was no tunnels. 15, 20 years later, they found the tunnels. Did they reinvestigate that and go after those people? Like, did that make them go, wow, maybe this is a little bit more, you know mainstream, uh, underground freaking pedophilia stuff than we understood. Like, this might be a really, a bigger thing. No. The problem is, you know, one-third of Congress is involved in this crap. And I'm not saying one-third of Congress is, like, raping and killing and drinking little kids' blood. But one-third of Congress, one way or another, whether paid off, whether threatened, whether whatever the hell, knows about what the hell is going on. That's why they're trying to get everybody on their side. And you see these sick people out there. I mean, they are so demonic. I mean, Alex Jones, he's freaking crazy. Don't freaking get me wrong. But I do love the guy. He does tell a lot of truth. But when you see the people that come up and hate him and throw coffee on him, and, you know, I've, I've posted videos of people going up and talking to people um, that give them abortions, and they're like, dude, you know, you're killing babies. that. And the dude just straight goes into demon mode and is like, <laughs> you know, like Alex Jones says when he imitates people, he's a lot better than me. Um, and you see that and you're like, dude, like, is this person, like, is this a demon or are they just that stupid? And to think about it, it's like, how can anybody be that stupid? And if you are that stupid, you probably are freaking controlled by demons. And I know I'm not trying to be all freaking crazy, but... For somebody to know that they're killing life, whether they believe that it's okay, it's, you know, it's for the law, whatever, you're still taking life. For you to come out and just act like that, instead of just being like, hey, it's my job, it's what I get paid to do, like, you know, what's wrong with just saying that? Why act like a crazy, sick demon? I mean, what, what is the point? Like, you have no shame? I, I, like, even if you don't believe in God, don't you believe in, like, the love of the humanity like the, your fellow man don't you care don't you have any sympathy it's like you, you can't if you come out and act like that and that is freaking demonic 100 percent. so you know my biggest thing too when you talk about freaking uh john podesta um tony podesta whatever the fuck it's the whatever you type in the name and daddy and no joke, there is this thing, uh, this video, of this sick bastard literally torturing a kid. And he's got a distinct voice. And it's already been gone over, and they said a 97% chance that that's his voice. This dude is supposedly still walking around. Or, I mean, hopefully he's in Gitmo. But, I mean, no, he was walking around for sure for a long time after that came out. People know he's a dirtball. You look at their artwork. Their artwork is disturbing. It's all little kids in tiled, checkered, tiled bathrooms and, like, tied up and, like, in weird-ass positions and freaking held down. Like, weird, weird stuff. So, I understand you can be your who you want to be and you can just, you know, everybody should let live and freaking, that's cool. I get that. But if what you think is beautiful artwork, is artwork of little children being tied up and tied to bathrooms like this backwards and all sorts of crap. If that's what you think is beautiful artwork, what gets you off? That's what I think we need to be worrying about because if that's beautiful artwork to you, I think that there's no way that could be beautiful artwork to anybody and they're not a fucking pedophile dirtball. There's no way. There's no freaking way. And, you know, this stuff is way bigger than people like to admit or actually can see. And I don't think people understand. President Trump done saved your life. Do you know that? Yeah, he did. You're welcome. You know that Paris Accord freaking conference, whatever the heck it was, blah, blah, blah. 
that uh, he cut us out of. Do you know what was in that? Yeah, most people don't. Most people don't have one iota of an idea that was, what was in that. Because of the stuff about climate change and everything like that, it was put in there that as soon as it all got freaking passed and everything was boom, they could start doing depopulation. Yeah, because there's too many of us. Wonder why there's too many of us? Because there's so many of us that we can actually take out the elite. They don't like that. They don't like that at all. So that's what they're going to do is start depopulating us. And I mean, they are doing it already. If you don't see that through the chemtrails, through the shit that they feed us. I mean, the crap that they allowed to be put back into our foods that no other countries... Not no other countries, but literally banned, you know, from every single country. All of a sudden, we let back in, like, four or five out of the seven that every other country has banned. We let it back in to be put in our food. Nobody understands everything all freaking adds up. Everything goes together. It's hard to put the whole picture together. And most people don't see more than two or three little freaking pixels. And most people don't have the time, the courage, the F, the ability, or even the heart to even get into it. But obviously, if you're still watching me freaking rant, you must be a truth. And God bless you for that. Um, our biggest problem is everything goes together and nobody's putting it together. And people are starting to put it together. That's why I think about Q. I mean, enough stuff on there has been proven that is true. And even Q says disinformation is is necessary. So whatever that is, that's President Trump and somebody else or whatever the heck, I, I don't know. But I'm very happy because it seems like this stuff is happening. And I know I everybody keeps saying, well, it's happening, it's happening, but we don't really have the evidence. I really think the evidence is coming out soon. And if it's not, then we're just going to have to stand up and start yelling freaking louder, aren't we? Because there's not many things in this world that matter more than our babies. Actually, there's nothing in this world that matters more than their babies. Our ability to take care of them. What, what more than that? And that's our... That's our biggest problem is that we... I think have forgotten that as a society. That's why they tried to, you know, break up the home. I mean, it, it's literally proven that they wanted to literally dissect generation by generation by generation... To make it to where we're at now. You got people that are... Mar this lady married the Statue of Liberty. This other lady married a freaking um, chandelier. You have people marrying their dogs. You have people literally marrying their cats. You have people marrying themselves. What the hell is going on here? Are you serious? And, you know, the gay marriage thing, even I was like... You know what? Who cares? Like, let them get married. Let them be miserable like everybody else. Well, look what's come from that. I mean, did we ever have this thing of, like, you have, I, uh, we need bathrooms for transgender. Or transgenders get to use your, any bathroom they want. Did we have anything like that before gay marriage? No. Does any, I mean, come on. We all remember the time before gay marriage. It wasn't that long ago. But it's almost like we've had the Mandela effect and just like, yeah, this is normal. <laughs> cool. No, it's not freaking normal. It's not normal at all. Wh where is this? I mean, how many freaking binary, non-binary, blah, 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 all this crap? I don't... I can't, I can't remember 60 genders. I'm sorry. I'm freaking dyslexic. Sorry about your luck. So, <laughs> it's like, what, what, what have we allowed to happen? I mean, we're fast turning into Sodom and Gomorrah. If you look at all the stuff that they want to make legal, like they want to freaking turn, start turning down the age of consent. I mean, these people want to be able to come and pick up your 8, 10-year-old kid. Even younger, trust me. But they're going to, you know, slowly bring it down. They want to be able to come pick up your kid and be like, well, it doesn't matter if your kid wants to come with you, you can because they're consenting. It's like, no. No, that's not. No. That's the whole thing is we've lost the control of, the, of our rule. I mean, our, our God-given right is to go out, prosper, protect, and love our family. 
That's our God-given right. They're taking your rights from you. And just so you know, <laughs> your country, our country, was stolen from us in 1831. Did you know it used to be the United States for America? Yeah. After that, it was the United States of America. You want to know why of and for are different? Of straight means that we're owned. Of. We're a freaking corporation. That's not what it was supposed to be. That's not what our founding fathers wanted. But you got to understand this experiment. They weren't going to allow that to happen. No matter what. They don't care if they got to take one, two, three, four generations. The higher up the elite. They'll, they'll weasel their way into anything. They've been doing it for centuries. You think they didn't do it with us? So you go up and you you go look that up yourself. It's sad. We're a corporation now. It's, it's very sad and it's, since 1831. All right, yeah, I know I'm getting all freaking crazy. But yeah, this is, uh, this hopefully is coming out. But seriously, we can't stop yelling. I mean, tell, try to get people to listen. I know it's hard. I mean, I, I stopped talking to people. Like, you know, a lot of people say, well, people stop talking to me da, 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 because they thought I was crazy and I lost all my friends. Shit, I didn't lose all my friends. I said, bye bye I ain't got no fucking time for your fucking ass. Damn. Try not to kill us. That's the whole thing. And you know what? I don't care. And the people that are smart enough to actually listen, that have half a brain, I enjoy hanging out with them. But those people that, you know, you know, they are my friends, but I don't hang out with them anymore. I don't want to. Why would you want to hang out with somebody that is so dim that they won't even open their eyes for a half a minute to be like, holy crap, maybe I should be looking at this. Maybe I should be worried about what's going on in the world. Maybe I should love God. Why Why do you care that you lost them as friends? You shouldn't. All right, well, I love you all. God bless.